Many generations have passed since your illustrious ancestor bravely defended the walls of Zhengzhou against the ruthless Xiongnu. Now, however, the supply of copper at Zhengzhou, so crucial for bronze casting, has been exhausted. Pan Gong, the new king, has thus decreed that the capital be relocated. After much searching, royal geomancers finally found a suitable location, and it shall be known as Yin. Fish the river, grow millet, wheat, and mulberry, and scour the hills for copper. Unfortunately, the area's clay is unsuited for kiln firing, creating a need to acquire both clay and ceramics through trade. Set aside a portion of the city for the elite class, who will doubtless appreciate luxurious silk, appetizing food, and acrobats. Decorative statues and wayside pavilions can now add a touch of beauty and grace to the city. Do not forget to develop a strong military arm, as not all cities bow to the Chang King. Paying heed to others' demands may appease them in the short term, but what does it say of the might of your city? Hey guys, welcome back to Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom, and we're here on a move to Yin. And we're still in the city-states of Shang, and difficulty level very hard. So it seems like population of 1,500, that's easy. 40 people in lavish Sihirwans or better, so that's the elite class, producing 10 bronzeware vessels in a year, and 1,100 people in elegant dwellings or better. So we got to get up our, our residential districts up to ed elegant dwellings. So let's go ahead and go to the city and see what actually is going on here. We got a nice... Oh, really? Yeah, nice big open spaces here. That's perfect. And uh, it seems like there's just this little river on the left and this main river on this side. And it looks like we've got some some kind of bronze over this side. This is bronze, right? Copper ore, sorry. It's, it's copper. Bronze is an alloy, of course. So looking at it, it's pretty nice. Let's check our uh, raw materials here. We've got millet, wheat, and hemp. We've got silkworms and fishing keys. And in terms of raw materials, we've only got logging sheds. So yeah, uh, we really don't have any sort of uh, clay making abilities. So um, we're gonna have to set something up here. I think it's quite obvious that our big residential areas are gonna go in this, this open field here. And farms can be sent to the south. Or maybe up to the north. South and north, maybe both. And, uh, well, we should do some fishing as well. It seems like there's a nice uh, flat areas over here in this little this little uh, lagoon there. All right, so I'm going to set up my, my residential areas. Probably fishing over here. We're going to have to have some way to reach the bronze way over on this side. And I'd like to see if we can get things going as fast as possible. All right, we have a start here. I've put down two blocks of houses here and they're a little close together, but I had to place them just like this to make sure that the feng shui stays good because these things had to be like that and those things had to be over there. So getting the feng shui 100% is a little tricky, but uh, this should work out for now anyway. And then we've got uh, two farms going down here, going for millet and wheat. And where are our people? Are they coming in? There they are. They're moving in now, so once uh, the food gets going, then we can distribute the food and also, since we have, uh, uh, we've started our city, we should start sending diplomatic requests to everyone to open trade. And we're just gonna s ask everyone to open trade, so at least, oh, we can actually see what Zengzu already needs. So we're gonna ask to open trade with everyone, and actually we'll just go ahead and Oh, we're already open trade with Zengzu. Okay, so then at least we get to see what they want. So, we're gonna wait for people to move in, get our food production going, and then we really have to get our exports once we know what everyone wants. In fact, what does... They, they want to buy rice, hemp, and bronze? We could start producing hemp and bronze relatively quickly, actually. There goes our emissaries off to ask everyone to start trading with us. Alright, so I'll get the hemp farms going and uh, try and get our bronze ware going as well. Okay, Baoji rejected my trade agreement. Bo rejected, Nomad Camps rejected, Khufu rejected, everyone rejected. Okay, but we get to see what they want. Okay, so we could sell wood and hemp to Khufu, bronzeware as well, and silk. So that's a pretty good one. We can produce all of that. Uh, Bo needs rice, carved jade, and bronzeware. So again, we could sell bronzeware. And 
Bao G needs rice, ramex, and cabbage. Banpo, have we sent an emissary? Let's, uh, no, oh, damn it. I just said request alliance. No. Ah, damn it. I want to open trade. No bed camps need silk and wheat. Okay, so Khufu is sort of the main trade area. Wood, hemp, bron bronzeware, and silk. We can produce all of that. So, uh, let's, uh, we gotta get them to like us. So, let's start producing these four things. And hemp and bronze we could actually sell straight away to Zengzu, which is a water trade route. We gotta get that set up soon as well. Alright, so, let's get our money going. Alright, we're starting to get some unemployment here, so let's pause the game, because uh, we gotta start uh, getting our industry going. So I've got my hemp coming in already, actually, and food supplies might be coming in soon as well. Uh, but we're not distributing any of that. But I have set up this ferry over here, so we can start our bronzeware stuff. So, let's, uh... First thing I wanna put down a, uh... The, the storage should be near the, the docks, really. Now, where can we actually put a trading post? If we go to, um... This one. Trading keys. We could trade... Okay, just takes two on the water like that. So we could have the trading key set up right there and right there. Um, that warehouse is kind of in the way, but it's okay. We could put up the trading keys here, and I don't know if we need to do any fishing right now. Uh, I'm not sure if it's essential. We might be able to get to that later, but trading is sort of more important right now. So I'm gonna set up a trading key right here. And I'm gonna have to have a road going along this. And let's see, we, we need an inspector's tower as well. So let's stick one of those here. I guess that will do. And we can have this road just going along. For now, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna connect this up like that. And we can go ahead and roadblock these. Okay, so we're gonna have this trading key with Zunzu. And we want to sell, uh, let's see, exports. Let's sell hemp as much as we can. Oh, this is, uh, we can trade a year of 12, so let's leave it at 12. We can also sell bronze. We, we can't produce rice, so now let's start producing some bronze. Go to industry and bronze smelter, and we can put down a few of these. Let's put one there. Uh, looking for good feng shui, another one there. I'm gonna put down three, because we do have a lot of... Uh, people who are willing to buy bronze and should I put down a fourth one? I'm not sure. I think I have to destroy these trees for good feng shui. There we go. We actually can put down more. Uh, if I remove those trees, will it be good feng shui? There? How many workers does this take? 19? Let's see if we can actually have all these supported right now. 53 workers needed and uh, Oh, I just realized there's two roads touching this warehouse. That's not necessarily the best thing. That's... It does give easy access for this trading post, though. Hmm. I might leave it like that. I'm not too sure. I'll see how it works. But we do have some trade going, which is good. There we go. So, bronze is gonna start... Oh, look at them going. Uh, gonna come in soon. 28 workers needed, 24 workers needed. More people moving in. I think I could just drop down a whole bunch more houses. Actually, more people are moving in anyway. All right, so I'm going to put down another bronze smelter right there. So we'll have four bronze smelters going at it, and that should provide enough bronze for some trading to go on, which we'll need a warehouse for that. Let's let's set that up. All right, there we go. We're evolving some of these houses up, and they need plain food before they can evolve, which we should be able to do once this... Uh, once the food does actually start coming in. We, we might need a bit more, a few more farms, but right now we're just feeding one area. I also put down a couple ancestral shrines here, uh, to because they needed that to evolve as well. But this should uh, allow more people to move in, because we currently need uh, quite a few more people, 68. And I just realized, I always forget this, that we need clay to create bronze. So right now I'm just sort of stocking up... Uh, uh, oh no, there's a... Can I... Will the watchtower actually deal with that lizard thing? I'm not sure. But right now we're just sort of stocking up uh, bronze in these things and not actually selling it, which is kind of bad, but uh, I, I feel... Oh, I'm just gonna let it stock up anyway. Then once the bronze does actually start coming in, we'll be able to start exporting it. Uh, meanwhile, I'm stocking up some wood here because uh, to get clay, I need to open up trading with Khufu, which they also do buy bronzeware and wood, so we could definitely get that going. Um, 
but I need to import clay from them to actually get the bronze ware. So I need to sort of get enough wood, give that to them as a tribute because they do want wood, and then they'll like me enough to open up trading. Uh, meanwhile, I should probably start uh, producing more hemp if I do actually start getting unemployment again. I'm not sure if I will though. Alright, we do have some wood stockpiled now, 800 units. So let's go to the Empire map. Khufu, you need wood. Let's uh, send you a gift of wood, shall I? Medium gift of 8 stacks of wood. If you'd like more of that, maybe you'd like to open trading with me. Meanwhile, bronze is starting to come in here, and uh, which should mean we should be able to start exporting it as well. And I'm not sure if this distance is too far for the, the trading people to travel, but... Uh, Let's see, he is picking up the bronze and bringing it to the trade house, so... And we're just about running out of uh, money here, which means uh, things are gonna be... Well, not so great, because we're gonna have to get a loan. But we sh we're just about turning to the point where we're gonna start making money, which is good. And, oh look, some money's actually coming in. We actually avoided going into debt for a short while, because this... Oh, the rustling bamboo bought some bronze and hemp. We did also boost our hemp production by putting down one more farm. I think I'll need a couple more though if I want to actually uh, give that to my people. Okay, there we are. We've gone into debt, currently negative, and why are these buildings catching fire? I'm, I... Uh... My inspector's not reaching that far? That's a bit weird, but uh, they are walking around that, that side, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's because it's at the corner and this is a grand way, that sort of thing? Uh, but, uh, yeah, we are in debt right now and it seems like we're not gonna be getting uh, any help for that. But we did just send, look at that emissary there, sending out a trade request to Khufu and hopefully he'll be able to... Uh, get us out of debt because once we open trade then we can start selling uh, well, importing clay and oh there we go selling a whole bunch of bronze there have we actually sold a lot we we've sold plenty of bronze okay perfect uh, so we should be able to start uh, opening up trade with them pretty soon all right suddenly all these buildings are catching fire which is I I don't know why it was fine up until now so what I did is I surrounded my service buildings or my inspectors towers with gardens so they would evolve so that would send out twice as many walkers uh, but um, yeah I'm not sure why this is happening I'm gonna have to replace these these houses here there we go uh, hopefully the fires do stop it's strange that they would suddenly start like that, that that's a bit confusing and look there's another one going right there um, that's strange. But hopefully that should settle down. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's the that should be the end of the fire. And okay, there we go. Khufu begins that we uh, begin trading with each other. Let me just put that house back down. And now, let's get this trade going. I'm going to go to commerce, trading stations, Khufu. Oh, it's a land trade route, is it? It is a land trade route. Perfect. Okay, so they sell clay and they buy wood, hemp, bronzeware, silk. Okay, perfect. If it's a land trade route, we can put it down this side. If we can just find a good feng shui space for it. Okay, there's a good spot for it. So I'm going to put this here and this stretch of road is going to need an inspector's tower. So let's... uh. Oh, we can actually stick one right here. Perfect. So the inspector's tower can go... There. And this is going to sell as much wood, hemp, and bronzeware as we can, and we're gonna buy clay. So there we go. So we're buying 12 clay a year, which means we'll be able to produce 12 bronzeware a year. So that should uh, pay for itself, really. And now we're selling more hemp, are we? We are selling plenty of hemp, so I'm definitely gonna have to boost my hemp farm after this, but... Do we have the people? Not right now because of those fires, but we could put down a few more houses here to sort of uh, get things going. Oh, what's this? An emissary from Baoji asked permission to enter your city. Okay, let's permit this. And greetings, Gimzak. Allow me, Suge Liang of Baoji, to present you with a gift of eight bronzeware vessels. Uh, yes, please, thank you, because we're selling that stuff. So, uh, there we go, clay is actually coming in, and we're exporting wood, there we go. And, uh, we, we can start selling off our, uh, even more hemp and this bronzeware, there we go, sending that off to the, the, the trading post there. So, we're still in debt, but, uh, we should be out of debt relatively soon. 
There we go, we're back in the white, and look at this, the boats and caravans arrived at the same time. So we're now uh, selling in, uh, well, definitely in the white for our trade. And I'm boosting my hemp production and I'm feeding my people now, so there's plenty of people going to be coming in now. We'll have some unemployment soon enough. So what are our objectives again? We need uh, to get our houses to uh, producing plenty of bronzeware vessels. Best is one, really. Uh, and then we j basically just have to get 40 people in lavish Sahir ones and 1,100 people in elegant dwellings. Now, they also did say we should probably start uh, some military. So I think I should s set up some military before I actually go and do uh, any kind of uh, elite housing. So let me go ahead and put down two weaponsmiths here and they need stored bronze okay we got plenty of that and then i need to put down an infantry fort so i don't know where we're going to be attacked from it could be the north here there's some open space there it could be this corner unlikely there's a lot of trees i think we'll be attacked from the north because the bottom is completely covered with trees so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put down an infantry fort at the top here oh but we do need an administration office first. Okay, so I'm gonna get my... And, and some tax, actually. I'm gonna get some tax going. I'm gonna get all this government stuff going and military going, and then we'll be able to... Uh, ooh, I can actually fit this in right here in the middle. That's gonna be perfect. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Uh, and then a tax office can go there and there. Okay, perfect. So now we can set up our military, and hopefully uh, if we get attacked, we'll be able to deal with that relatively easily. Oh, what's this? Khufu wants three bars of bronze? Well... Okay, you can have three bars of bronze. I've got plenty of bronze lying around, actually. Actually, not anymore. I'm actually sort of running low on bronze now that these weaponsmiths took a whole bunch. Uh, but I think that's just gonna be temporary as we build our... Uh, military. But then again, another bronze smelter couldn't hurt. We do need a few more workers. 35... But more people are moving in, so yeah, that's gonna be fine. Meanwhile, hemp, I think I definitely still have to boost hemp production because we're not completely selling as much as we can to Khufu. So I'll see what I can do about that. Oh no, I forgot about the ancestors! They sent an earthquake, your city is in peril. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Oh no, the... Uh, what, what did they destroy? Did they destroy anything? Let's pause the game. Anything collapsed? Oh, look at that. The houses got destroyed. Okay. Uh, let's uh, go to the religion tab and uh, let's start uh, getting these people happy. Millet. Is that all I got? Everything else is in trading posts. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about the gods. Uh, yes, that, that, that was my fault. Uh, I should probably put these houses back down here and uh, try and remember the gods so that doesn't happen again. Oh, an emissary from Baoji wants to enter the city. Okay, let's permit you. And 10 bronzeware vessels. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna take that. So now I've got plenty of bronzeware ves vessels, and I'm actually not selling anymore. I should probably give some to the gods. Let's, uh, let's give some to Nuwa. Bronzeware, a medium gift of bronzeware vessels. That should keep you happy. Exalted, wow, they really like bronzeware vessels. So I should probably try and overproduce bronzeware vessels. Uh, how are we on these in this industry here if i go to workshops bronzeware makers could i i think i can have two more going because uh there's uh there's still some extra clay here and it's in almost a new year and we could import more clay so i'm gonna have two more bronzeware guys going there and i'm not sure if i should have more bronze being mined i'll wait and see if uh that does actually go and actually i'm a little short on wood i should probably get a more logging sheds going, if I can find some good feng shui for them. Ooh! <laughs> After just giving six bronzeware vessels, Nuwa decides to drop on by. Well, I guess that's fine too. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely giving uh, bronzeware vessels to these gods here. Yeah. Uh, Shen Nong, uh, you go ahead and have a small gift of bronzeware. You are pleased. Okay, perfect. Uh, I think we're gonna solve our religion problem there. Now, this logging stuff, I think I'll put down one more and see if we actually manage to produce enough there. We're only selling 12 a year, but this should be fine. Oh, look at this. Your uh, Gamerzak, you are a worthy and rich rival. Sends six racks of weapons to the nomad camps. Six racks of weapons. Four months to comply. I'm not stocking uh, that many. Uh, perhaps I 
don't want to give the nomad camps weapons, they tend to invade me anyway, and I'm not gonna be trading with them. So the nomad camps, uh, yeah, go screw yourself. I'm gonna use those weapons to get me four more infantry rather than send it to you. Oh, look at that. I curse you, Gamezak, you yak brain fool. You didn't send the six racks of weapons to my city, the nomad camps, as I demanded. You could soon learn that it isn't wise to ignore me, the great leader Shan Yu Hu Hanye. If you dispatch the items now, I think you'll, you're just slow, not dense. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we're gonna have to face you in combat because giving weapons to your enemies is sort of a bad idea. And uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna... Uh, keep building up my military. Meanwhile, this next hemp supply is going to be coming in and I turned off trading of hemp to Khufu because I want to evolve my houses. So uh, they need some hemp to, to evolve. So which I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have plenty of hemp this time. I got one, two, three, four, five, six hemp farms and I am just gonna, still gonna sell to, to Sheng Shu over there but uh, they don't need nearly as much. Alright, so hemp should be coming in soon and we'll evolve these houses and then we can start focusing on other things like why are these... Did they run out of food? Oh, I think they ran out of food. Okay, I gotta be more careful about that. Alright, look at that. We've got plenty of hemp for the whole year, enough to export for the entire year and also enough to stock hemp in the warehouse. So that's gonna be sorted out relatively soon. Uh, uh, we are still a bit short on people. These houses are evolving, but the food supply actually uh, needs to be a bit more stable. So I put down uh, two more farms. This one's not quite ideal, but it should uh, supplement enough food to support the people moving in. Anyway, uh, we we're sort of evolving these houses as best as we can, uh, but we'll have to wait until we actually get enough workers here. Let's uh, in increase the wage rate so we actually get more people in the workforce. And I'm going to... Uh, prioritize agriculture so we actually get uh, the food and stuff sorted. All right, there we go. We're now evolving our houses up to spacious dwelling and, and they need appetizing food before they can evolve further. Uh, but that should solve our employment issue. And we also have massive stocks of hemp. I think I, I have one too many farms here. So I'm gonna uh, remove this farm, I think. And, oh, it's a new year. Let's not celebrate yet. I'm just sort of stabilizing my goods here. I'm gonna remove that hemp farm because I think we do have too much because these, these hemp farms all have plenty in them already. And I'm starting to import ceramics, which uh, uh, I don't think we... Uh, let's just buy 800 units of ceramics. Uh, and uh, so there's, there's not too much... I don't know, it's a bit crowded in there. Maybe I should uh, drop how much hemp I'm storing in there. Okay, so uh, ceramics are coming in and I also want to improve my military, but we need a palace for that. But uh, let, let's just start working on things. We need to get appetizing food in and we also need, what's this, nine cash. Because of an overabundance in China, silk prices have fallen. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, so we also, we need to, uh, We've, oh, okay, we've, we've got our population and the bronzeware. We just need to evolve our houses and get the rich people in. So elegant dwelling, I think it means they need three types of food. And also for the uh, for the, the rich houses, I'm gonna have to find some place to put them. So this elite housing, maybe I could, I don't know, I'm not sure where they would go. Not back here, I don't know, maybe back here? I'm not sure actually. Can't be too far away. I, maybe back here. I think we could we could work something out back here. Maybe even over here will work. Oh, what's this? I am loath to speak your name, Gimazak, because it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I, Shan Yu Hu Hanya of the Nomad Camps, I'm extremely angry with you. There's no telling what I might do. Well, I expect you're gonna try and invade me, which means I do have to set up a few things, uh, mainly expand my military. So yes, I'm definitely gonna go prepare for that. All right, there we go. I've set up an elite housing back here behind my residential blocks. I just extended this road back out, put in this uh, this grand market square and squeezed in five, uh, five uh, houses. And as you can see, everything is still green feng shui. Everything across the board. It was challenged to me to get 100% feng shui, which I think is fine. There we go. Uh, and now we just sort of have to make this place look all pretty and nice, make sure 
all the services are provided. I have the the inspector's tower there. And oh, what's this? An emissary from Baoji. Permit, please. And you want to give me nine bronzeware vessels? Well, thank you very much. That's going to be great for keeping the gods happy. Let's uh, give them some small gifts of bronzeware. Uh, to keep them happy because uh, we're still producing fine and money money is actually going down a little bit but I just did spend a lot of money putting in all of this area here so uh, that's uh, that's to be expected now I'm not sure if I can actually destroy these trees because uh, feng shui wise uh, these things uh, they seem to like to be near trees uh, I think that's still okay though there we go put in more gardens there okay so now we just gotta wait for the elite residences to move in, which I think they're coming in soon? They should be, yeah, these, these should be them moving in. And meanwhile, we do actually have fishing keys set up here, and fish is coming in. Uh, but I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to provide appetizing food just yet. Uh, perhaps I could set this- oh, it's not set to desiring appetizing food. Let's set the minimum to appetizing food. Uh, so that they'll actually take some of this fish and evolve these houses. Oh, we actually have massive unemployment issues now. At low wages, the unemployment is still at like 6%, which is people are still moving in. I might have to destroy some of these houses. I might have been a little too efficient here. Uh, but uh, they do need appetizing food to improve. I'm just going to fill this slot up with gardens. It looks nice. I put down these wayside pavilions just to sort of uh, make the area a little bit nicer. Uh, meanwhile, these rich people are moving in and they need appetizing food as well. So I did boost up... Uh, my f uh, fisheries here. You can see the fishing keys. I put down four more down here, squeeze one more in there. So now I have a total of four, eight, nine fishing keys. That should be more than enough to provide everything we need. And uh, we still have plenty of unemployment. I think I am actually going to have to destroy a couple of houses here uh, and possibly reduce the food levels required here. I'm not too sure. Just waiting for more fish to come in so we can actually provide appetizing food to our uh, appetizing food to these places and it seems like we're not we might need another music school as well because this isn't sort of a uh, going around acrobat school also would be handy all right here we go we've got elegant dwellings and they need an acrobat before they can evolve elegant dwelling is that where we needed people to be Yes, uh, we have plenty of people in elegant dwellings already, so we just need the lavish Sahir ones going. And currently they de do need appetizing food. I put down all these shops going for appetizing food and uh, silk, ceramics and hemp. Hopefully they'll also get going as well. I'll also just preemptively put down a bronzeware shop uh, in case they do want that as well. Now, I know these places are going to need some acrobats, so I'm going to have to put down a couple acrobat schools somewhere and... Uh, Trying to find a place with good feng shui for an acrobat school is a little tricky. I'm not sure. Oh, we could actually fit one right here and fit a second one right there. And just to make things come together, fill this up with gardens. There we go, two acrobat schools. Sort of part of the residential district, which is fine, but we'd still have plenty of unemployment and more people are moving in. And I've just given acrobat access, which means they're going to evolve even more. I think I might have been a bit too efficient with this housing block here. Um, oh, what's this? Horrors, Gamerzak, because they are hungry for more land to call their own, Xiong Nu, army of Shan Yu Hu Hanye, is approaching and will try to invade the city in five months. Good thing I've got two battalions of infantry going for me here. And that's pretty much the maximum I can get. I can't put down a third one. I slipped in the palace right here, which is kind of a... It's a bit of a weird place, but it's good feng shui, and... Uh, it just keeps it out of the way. I didn't really want to squeeze it in here. I've already got the administrative city working in the middle there. Now, unemployment is rising, so I think I'm going to have to destroy some of these houses here. Um, because this is not good. I'm going to destroy this row of houses there. That drops employment by 4%. More people are moving in, though. So I'm going to have to keep destroying these houses to keep my employment at acceptable levels. I, I can't have this many people being unemployed. Uh, meanwhile, is this delivering appetizing food? It is, and they also need acrobat to evolve. So modestly, these pandas are just walking around my marketplace. Is that safe? I'm not too sure. They're just helping themselves to the food. Oh well. Uh, where, where's my acrobat schools? Are they working okay? They are. So uh, there's acrobats there. There's acrobats there. I just need to wait for acrobats to reach up here, which I think one's coming around. There we go. An acrobat's coming along. 
two acrobats are coming along actually. And there we go, acrobat access. So they should send out an acrobat relatively soon. And yes, no. Uh, ooh, uh, the army will arrive here in two months. Okay. Where are those acrobats? I want these. Oh, they need access to a herbalist. Okay, no problem. We can squeeze some extra facilities in here and then things should be fine. All right, they needed a herbalist and an ancestral shrine, but now they're asking for silk. So uh, one month we will be invaded, we should be fine. But now they're asking for silk, so uh, just going to have to wait for the silk shop to go get it. It says too distant. Oh, no. Um, maybe I need to move the silk up here. Possibly. Um, I guess I'm going to have to move the silk up this direction and then things should be fine. Okay, and I'm also going to prepare for military right now. Oh, here we go. Uh, Xiong New Army is uh, attacking. Let's go to site of the event. They're coming from the southwest. Okay, fight to defend the city and I'm not having a festival. No, let's pause the game. I Did they... Those, they were... Oh, there's a bit of a gap there. Okay, I see. Okay, let's bring our infantry down then. Let's uh, let's move that one, and we gotta move this one as well. Okay, here we go. So hopefully they don't immediately destroy all these farms. Uh, they're they're sort of marching right out. Are they not gonna wait at all? Um. Okay, they don't they don't wait at all. Ah, oh, they're shooting my people already. Oh come on. That's my weaponsmith. Here we go. Infantry coming in. Gotta keep an eye on what they're destroying here. Currently they've only damaged my weaponsmiths. But here we go. Come on, march in there. Trap them. Make sure they don't escape. Okay, my, my maintenance tower there is also going down. Come on, finish them off. Die. Teach you to just waltz into my city. There, crushed by your forces, weakling soldiers of the nomad camp are in full retreat. I don't think anyone escaped though. Yes, perfect. So, go back home. There's my... There we go, go back home and rebuild my weaponsmiths. And here we go, weaponsmith, weaponsmith, invasion dealt with. Now, uh, how are we doing here? Currently, the food supply seems a little intermittent, so I'm just gonna put down a backup food shop at these places and they need acupuncturists to evolve further which I don't think we have access to. How's our employment doing? It's still really bad so I'm gonna destroy this row of houses here and well that's still not very good. I'm gonna destroy that house and that house. So we have unemployment of 6% even at low wages and these houses have also evolved to lavish Sahir ones, which is perfect because I brought up, you can see here, the silk uh, ceramics and uh, 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 silk ceramics and hemp. I just set hemp to accepting because hemp, I have so much, look at that, look at this, this massive army of hemp pushers. I have way too much hemp, but never mind, I have unemployment. So, uh, just waiting for, oh, they need tasty food to evolve further, but I don't think I need that. They're, I just need lavish Sahir ones, yes. So currently I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 in there. And... Oh, I have 30. Uh, so I just need a few more people to move in. But there is room for people to move in. So if I speed up the game and wait just a little while for some people to move in, then we should be able to win. Oh, there we go! A masterful job. A bustling city now grows where once only songbirds were heard. It is now time, however to turn our attention to the south, along the banks of the Yangtze River. All right, well, a move to Yin was a success, and uh, I, I really enjoyed this mission. The, the layout made it difficult. The, the tricky part of this map is actually, they do give you a big open area, but after you fill that with residential, uh, it's a bit tricky squeezing things around, and trade not having, uh, being able to produce ceramics is also a bit difficult. Unemployment was a problem, though. Maybe I just built too many houses. There's my points there. All right, so I am uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to end this here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.